Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So of course we'll look at some sales, but uh, I got a pretty significant thrift haul today that I want to show you. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. Yeah, uh, me, my wife, and my brother-in-law hit the thrift stores pretty hard today. Uh, three thrift stores, but there's a lot to go through in three thrift stores. Uh, one being the Hotspot Thrift Store. So I picked up some pretty good stuff. Spent a lot of money too, but uh, I like pretty much everything that I got. I think I've made good decisions and uh, continuing to up that Nerf arsenal to continue to make my, uh, be able to make those lots. And I got some pretty good stuff to show besides your average bread and butter blasters this time. So let's check it out. So I'll show you some honorable mention items. Uh, these I just bought, they, there was a whole box of these. There are these cables that, you know, looks like for a microphone to uh, a headphone jack. Uh, you don't ever see these kind of cables, at least I don't, very often. These are brand new. There was a whole box of them. They were 65 cents a piece, so I grabbed them. I'm not sure if I'll ever even need them, but I'm like, yeah, let me grab those. <laughs> Here's a shirt that my wife said, here, buy this to sell. It's uh, Antigua Large. Steelers shirt, polo shirt, men's polo shirt. Pretty nice condition. It was only $1.50. Whatever, I'll try it. I'll see if it'll sell. Here's a remote that I got uh, for the Go video. Kind of a, sounds to me like a generic kind of aftermarket, you know, still making VCRs whenever VCRs aren't a thing anymore. Uh, it was only 65 cents, but I looked up this remote, the model number, and uh, it looks like this could possibly be a $20 remote. So for 65 cents, yeah, I'm, I'm in on that. Okay, find of the day today was this Tony Hawk Shred Big Air Bigger Tricks Wii Activision uh, skateboard controller. Uh, it has the dongle inside of it, and that's it. It doesn't have the game. The reason why it's the find of the day, I, normally I wouldn't pick this thing up with these controllers. I, I don't think they, they're like a great pickup this particular accessory controller. Uh, but it was marked at only 95 cents and it's in the box, it's got the dongle. Uh, this was one of those ones where I bring it up to the counter, I'm like, is this really 95 cents? And the lady was like, yeah, is this really 95 cents? And started to like inquire with other personnel, but then said, you know what, yeah, it's 95 cents. So I got this for 95 cents. I think this has gotta be at least a $30 sale. Uh, has the box, has the a nice clean board controller, and it has the dongle. The only thing that's missing is the game. I could maybe even wait around till I found a loose copy of the game if I wanted to. But I don't know. I don't think I think anybody would buy this for 95 cents. What do you think? Here's another interesting project one. Uh Thomas and Friends Trackmaster Motorized Railway. Uh now the train piece is actually missing. This was a uh, $12.99, uh, but I looked in it, it looks like it's got pretty much everything. This big old huge waterfall piece, it's got that. Uh, I've seen people just parting this thing out for $10 a part or more, and I've got a lot of parts, but I might be able to just sell this whole thing uh, as a set uh, for some pretty decent cash. We'll see. I'm gonna see if it might happen to be pretty much complete, in, except for the train piece, and uh, go from there. Uh, here's a cool piece I got for my collection. I'm going to open it up. It's $1.99. It's a vintage 1994 uh, Gambit uh, X-Men. There's something rattling around in there, though. Oh, well, it's just going on display somewhere. All right, here's another honorable mention item uh, for my Blu-ray collection, The Conjuring. There was a few good Blu-rays there, but I decided to be disciplined and only grab one. The Conjuring... Uh, is this a, It's got the holographic slip cover 2.99 added to the blu-ray one of the scariest movies ever made found two more zoomers uh here's a zoomers uppy these were both 2.99 uh i think it's about a 15 dollars toy um i'm just gonna keep hanging on to them unless the wife finds them and we got another meowzy i think she already has this one but she'll still probably try to confiscate this one too I think she's actually not here, but you never know. She could come in at any time. Don't tell. Decided to grab another remote. This one might not be the best seller. TAC RC-6 
781 remote control. It was 95 cents. I got a 10% discount. It might be a $10 remote, but we'll see. Picked up one phone bag today. It was $7.95. I see it has the instruction manual actually in there. But the reason why I went in on this bag, it's a Panasonic phone set, which usually sell pretty good the way I piece them out, you know, uh, sell individual handsets. I think it's got at least three or four handsets. Model number is uh, KX-TGA470B. I looked that one up and a handset, you know, with the, actually just the handsets, I think can sell for 15, 20 bucks. So there is that potential, uh, profit potential there. But I noticed it also has this CPR call blocker V2000 model in, in it. And I looked that up, that could be a, up to like a $20 sale just for that little uh, call blocker thing. So I was like, yeah, let me get this bag. All right, I got a really big item here I'm gonna show you in a different view. But before that, we gotta get to the Nerf. So here's a bag I got for $7.95. I already ripped into it because I was uh, trying to pull out examples to this uh, for, uh, I did the uh, live video with the Thrift Shop Hustler, so I was wanting to make sure I had plenty of Nerf guns out. But uh, this $7.95 bag might not be the best bag, but I, I, I still went in on it. it. has a pretty dingy Raider. Actually, I'm thinking this might be a non-worker. But uh, I saw that rival and I'm like, yeah, I gotta get this. <laughs> but then we got this Boomco Halo Edition uh, blaster. I gotta see if this thing works and if it's worth anything. So. You never know, something like this could recoup the recoup the bag. Here's another bag I tore into because I didn't know how many types of nerf I might have to get into in the live because uh, there was a, an example for Rebel if that came up. But I found a Rebel bag. Oh, this bag was uh, $3.95. It has a X shot bow in there and then there's a Rebel crossbow. I think this is a pretty good one. I, maybe like a, I think it might be a, a $20 plus uh, blaster. Rebel is proving to be, you know, like it's, it's worth a little bit of cash. So, uh, don't underestimate the femininity. And then there, like I said, there was this X shot bow in there. I'm starting to see a lot of this X shot. I'm gonna have to pay a little closer attention to it. See if it's actually worth the time of saving this stuff. This thing looks like it sounds like it shoots with some freaking ferocity. Here's another nice little bag, $2.99. It had a Vigilon in it. But uh, it has all these little mini pistols. I think these are, but it has all these little mini pistols in it. Uh, I've had this one before. Uh, that's a dart tag one, huh? Oh yeah. Little single shot dart tag pistol. And then it's got these three little uh, keychain pistols. And these little keychain pistols are pretty old, 2003, so I'm gonna have to check them out. If uh, they're not like worth anything individually, and not worth anything, but you know what I mean. I'll, I'm gonna take a bunch of little pistols. I think I have enough to make a, a little mini pistol lot. Here's a 495 bag. It has some Nerf in there, but there's also a Kylo Ren mask, which is why I really bought it. And the Nerf is just an added accessory bonus. I was just kidding about buying it for this mask, but this mask actually seems like it's uh, pretty quality takes batteries and stuff I'm gonna have to look this thing up welcome to my channel but also in that bag was another mini pistol uh, micro shots so I can add that to the little mini pistol lot then we got a tri break for mega and one nerf disruptor I like to get ner disruptors they're worth a little bit more than like the strong arms and stuff then I bought this bag. It was a $1.99 bag. It has a fire strike in it, but there was something else in it. I don't know what it is, so I bought it mainly to see what, else, what other kind of accessory stuff is in here. Might be nothing. Uh, some little, uh, that's a Busby 2014 little pistol. Eh. But then there was this thing. I don't have any idea. Probably nothing. Anyways, there's a fire strike in there for $1.99. Then I got some uh, non-bag blasters today. Uh, another disruptor, $1.99. So I got a two pack of disruptors. I might be able to make a sale on that. And $1.99, another Apollo. Uh, so that's nice. Got two of those today. That's pretty good. And I got a loose mega blaster for uh, $2.99. A mega flip, uh, the mega roto fury, but this one's been markered all over. That's okay though. I kind of like this roto fury. 
Then $1.99, I got a Dart Tag 16. I'll take that for $1.99. Then today I found some Doomlands. It's been a little while, or the first time since the pandemic lifted that I found any Doomlands. I got a long arm. Had that one before. But I got two I haven't had before. One's the Desolator, $3.99. Um, gotta see if that one works. Uh, takes batteries. Looks pretty neat. And then $3.99, I got a Lawbringer. Uh, that one looks like it tests out pretty good. So I can make a pretty cool little Doomlands lot. And finally, I found not a vintage piece, but pretty close to a vintage. 19 years old, 2001. I found a uh, Nerf uh, Rapid Fire AS20, I believe it's called. So old school pump action uh, automatic Nerf gun. Uh, I'm testing it out. It seems like, I don't know how the single, it says single fire and rapid fire. I don't know how the single fire function actually was supposed to function, but it seems like it shoots rapid fire no matter what. That's the only issue that I really see with it. Other than the fact that this is, has a little bend in it. Uh, somebody was really putting a lot of pumps on this thing, but it was $2.99. If this checks out good enough and the condition of it looks pretty good, I think this is a 50 to $60 blaster. So that was pretty neat. Usually when you find these, they're gonna, the air chamber is gonna be blown out or something. It's not gonna work right. Uh, that's my experience. But this one seems like it survived somehow. Uh, okay, last item I thrifted today. Uh, I got 10% off, so about 20 bucks I paid for this thing. Uh, it's a 2005 Toshiba 20 inch CRT uh, TV with a built-in DVD player. And I tested this out in the store and the picture on it is beautiful. The DVD player fired right up, uh, I played that DVD. Uh, so this I got to resell. I'm going to try it on offer up, sell it as a, a, a gaming TV, uh, a retro gaming TV, because it would make a really good one. I think, um, yeah, that screen was looking great. The DVD player works. Uh, I saw this particular model. Let me show you the model. Uh, let me show you the model. Uh, model number MD20F11. I saw that model sold for 150 bucks on eBay. I don't know how, it must've been local pickup, but I actually just got on eBay and ordered the remote for it. It was, it was like 899 and I had some eBay, uh, what was it, eBay bucks. So I only had paid like five something dollars to get the remote for it. So I think for, uh, $25 we'll say investment with the remote. I'm thinking I could make a hundred, hundred, hundred twenty dollar sale on offer up for this thing. I might have to sit on it a while for a gamer to come along and, and want it. But, uh, the, the image on it was beautiful. So I think, uh, that's the reason I went in on it. Might not be for everybody to try to resell stuff like this, but, um, uh, people are looking for CRT TVs, you know, when it comes to retro gaming, because they just don't look the same on the flat screen, uh, the, uh, LCD, you know, modern TVs. All right. Welcome to Trend Channel, the Radical Reseller. Yay. Radical Reseller, don't forget to watch, like, and make comment for this guy here, and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> we had two items here that sold today All right one is the uh, kid toy the, this is a pirate and this is good for summertime for a kid and this cost us uh, $21.72 yeah it sold for $21.72 we paid uh, I paid $2.99 for it this is a Fisher Price uh, I think rescue, not rescue heroes, but along that kind of line, I guess it's rescued heroes. Um, turns out this wasn't the correct figure, but this is the way I bought it and uh, sold pretty quick. I took a best offer, $21.72. Not bad. So it will look nice when the kid will see it. All right. Okay. Yep. Like it like this for protection. You don't have to put tape on. All right. Just like this. Like a gift. Sideways. Yes. Okay. Sold. Two pounder. See how that goes. 
we have two Marine Corps skills handbook and man manual for someone that wants to join the Marine Corps. Yeah, actually, this is a this skills handbook is for a basic Marine skin skills handbook, individual training standards. Once you're already in the Marines, these were laying around the you know the base all the time while I was in the Marine Corps. Uh, I had one copy I brought home and decided to throw it up for sale. Uh, total price paid by the customer fifteen thirty three, and it's gonna be a medium mail shipment. So maybe not. Let's see. All right, that works. It's not gonna go out anywhere. Nice and easy media mail, media mail shipment. So three pounder media mail. First, we have this Panasonic um, speakerphone telephone. I know the customer get a good deal with that one and he gave it to to good deal because this one will be shipped here in california so asking a discount more yeah the buyer was like hey give me a shipping discount because i live in california too i don't know for a fact but sometimes whenever you message back and forth with people on ebay you can sense that they may be elderly uh, i kind of sense this is an elderly person that that may be trying to buy this from me. So I didn't negotiate too much with them. So $21.28 total paid by the customer. Uh, I only paid $2 for this phone anyways. So hopefully they it works out for them and they get a good deal or they got a good deal. I think I can make this little box here work for it. But you have to wrap uh, bubbles. Yeah. Uh, bubble wrap. I'll use this sheet of bubble wrap here. We'll wrap it like this. Yeah, like this, very safe. And then, oh, I just lost my tape. This one. Totally misjudged that table. Uh, this one. Tape gun has fallen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can fit that down in there. See? There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, All right. Three pounds. Three pounder. Going to California. We'll see. USPS priority mail. Be kind to me. <laughs> Not FedEx, probably. What else we got? Now we got all this a uh, lot of nerfs. The lot of nerf. It's nerf a... lot number one. So. Sold this lot. Raider. Oh, this one make it longer. Doesn't make it shorter. All right. Sold this lot here. Uh, I thought I was gonna get a double uh, combined purchase from the buyer. They messaged me saying they wanted some, uh, they were looking at some uh, mega lot that I had too, but uh, I guess they didn't decide to take my offer for combined shipping. Uh, I must have not went low enough. But anyways, uh, this lot here, end strike with 40 darts, part of the deal. 40 new darts. We got the Raider, we got the Sector Rev 5. That's backwards. <laughs> Because look, look at the handle. <laughs> I'm You're gonna lose in a Nerf war. I know. I'm losing my life. Is that the, that's the suicide. Is that the suicide? Uh, yeah. So I tried to combine the uh, kind of like the non-battery taken end strike blasters. Uh, this is the best one. Uh, Spectre Rev Five, probably. But they're all they're all nice. Uh, total price paid by the customer fifty one dollars and seventy seven cents for this lot. Do a little bubble wrap on the bottom. Yep. Get our specter in there. This doesn't have to be attached. Just leave it like that. Okay. Put this in there. Get that blaster right there. Oh, I gotta figure out the drum. The drum on this corner. I think 
baggie has to go right here. Yep. And that guy, 40 darts. And then bubble. One more bubble wrap. Oh, like this. Before the nerve. Okay. That's that lot. Alrighty. how kind FedEx is going to be to me. All right, seven pounds of Nerf. We have more Nerf lots. This is heavy. Got another Nerf lot. This is a better one. Okay, here we have the Modulus lot with the Strife. Uh, three really nice blasters uh, with really good ammunition magazines and a lot of accessories to include a pump action uh, Nerf uh, Mega Modulus uh, barrel extension. So it shoots pump action uh, mega darts out of, out of this part right here. And a brick of 100 darts. Uh, total price paid by the customer, $92.37. So this one should be a good one. Mm -hmm. I got caught without a uh, one of my long boxes right now. So I'm gonna have to use this uh, box right here that was used for to, when eBay shipped me the uh, bubble mailers. So the blasters are going to sit up and down instead of laying down on their on their sides. Put a peanuts in the bottom. Put our two bigger blasters in first. Figure those out. We'll get this strike down in there too. Okay, oh, I got to make sure this thing is the next bulkiest thing. We'll get that in there. Put that like that. Magazines. I can slip one. Whoop. I can slip one back there like that. And the other one. One right here. And this thing's the next bulkiest. Gotta go like that. And then this. This guy. And then this. Oh, this guy's giving me a hard time. Let's see here. Okay, there it goes. And, and then put peanuts. And peanuts on the top, and we did it. That's perfect. It's like it was made for that. <laughs> oh, no, wait. <laughs> we need. <laughs> We're not out of this yet. <laughs> oh, man. Sideways. Hold on, let me. Uh... You can just split this? Yeah, I can split them, you're right. Or let me see if I can get this in right here. If I do that, can I get these three items in there somehow? Yeah, if I put this on top, that there, and it. that, and then that. <laughs> wow. That was close, huh? That's perfect. That's perfect. perfect. The FedEx be kind to me moment. Nine pounder. Not bad, not bad, nine pounder. $92.37 total paid by the customer. Okay. Somebody's kid is going to be the most terrifying kid Here, on the playground. I'm carrying heavy again. Can you carry the handle the nine pounder? I can carry, but where's my salary? It's the first, it's the first of the month now. Can I pay you in Nerf magazines? No. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know about any interesting eBay tips, tricks, finds, or just leave a comment down in the comment section to say hi. Ideas for videos and questions are great because I can use that for video content. Always appreciated and have a good day.